What up guys and welcome back to the channel. You already know it is. It's Ron Tom from Hunchaholics and today we are going to install the all black suede S13 shift boot. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions on how to install it. Um, the only reason why is because the all black suede material isn't forgiving as all the other shift boots that I do offer on my website. So I'm going to give you guys a little walkthrough on how to install it. Um, there's a little way on how to uh, put the shift boot around the OEM shift boot ring. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys so that's easy to install so you guys can swag out and get rid of that old, worn, torn, brittle OEM shift boot. Alright, so uh, here we are inside the Batcave. Um, we are going to go remove the uh, center console or the radio trim, which is this right here. Uh, so pretty much all you got to do is just obviously free up any space. So, alright, so you've got to come out. And then obviously in order to get to the shift boot, you got to remove your shift knob. So we'll go ahead and remove the shift knob. All right, and once you remove that, then we can remove the uh, radio trim. Um, there are six little clips. There's two here, two here, and two here that um, all you gotta do is pull out and then that should disengage that locking mechanism. So. The easiest way is to start from the bottom. So what I do is just grab here and pull up. So there it is. And then from there, you have two more to go. So what I do is I just grab the centers or the, the bottoms of the uh, double din area and I just go ahead and pull. And then slightly just move up to remove the other clip. Um, you don't want to go too far down because you'll end up getting a crack. So you always want to support it when you pull out. There you go. So the closer you get up here to pull out uh, minimizes the uh, the instance of you cracking it and you know we don't want that so get as close as you can and then pull out and there you go all right so here is the uh, shift boot trim um, so pretty much what you're gonna do is just flip it over and uh, you just flip it over so you can expose the four screws so here they are this is the actual locking mechanism that keeps the shift boot in place so the s14 is different than the s13 so um, I'm still trying to figure out the s the s14 excuse me um, on how to figure out how to mount up the shift boot. So for the S13, you remove four of these screws. So so once you get the four screws out, you're able to remove the shift boot from the trim. Here it is. So once you flip it over, you'll expose the shift boot ring. And if this is the first time that you've removed the shift boot, like you have the OEM one, uh, besides removing it from the trim, you'll have little uh, circular clips. It's just another way to secure the shift boot. So those clips are just little circular rings. All you gotta do is break them off. So you can see them from here, I've already broken it off. So then once you break off all the rings, then you remove the shift boot, which is super simple. You just remove it from the locking tabs. Again, this is pretty much based off of the OEM shift boot. So this is exactly how you would remove it. So there it is. Shift boot separated from the shift boot ring. All right, so once you get the shift boot ring, um, there's only one way on how this shift boot ring mounts up to your trim. So if you look very closely on one of the sides here, it's going to say front or FR. Pretty much that's going to be facing towards your radio. Um, and that's another key point. Um, if you try to install the shift boot ring on the shift boot in another orientation, it will not fit and you'll struggle to get it on. So again, front needs to be facing front to the radio. Once you get the shift boot out of the package, pretty much you'll notice that it looks kind of like in an awkward shape. It's got two different curves. The, uh, this side right here, I'm not going to try to explain it to you, but pretty much all my shift boots look the same. This curve right here is going to be facing towards the radio. So if you can think in 3D, if it's already installed, this portion here is facing towards the radio. So you just match it up. The FR goes towards the radio, this curve goes towards the radio and that's how you're going to install it onto the shift boot ring. So in order to install it, this is where people get also uh, an issue. First, you just got to do one side. Okay. Then from there, you're going to basically just try to cover the entire shift boot. It's going to feel hard. It's going to look like you're struggling. But the key thing is you want to get it over the ring. You want to overshoot the locking or the mounting tab. So once you overshoot it, you're gonna look like this. So there. 
So I got two so far in and obviously two that aren't mounted yet. So for once you overshoot, you're halfway there. Now all you gotta do is just line up the tabs to the mounting tab. So pretty much just find the mounting tab and insert it in. So here's one right here. It's one. And then here's the other. And there you have it. You're pretty much on the shift boot ring, ready for install onto the trim. All right, so now here we are back with the trim. So um, if you look at it from this way, obviously this is how you shift gears. This is gonna be the radio. Basically you wanna match up that front portion to the radio. Again, remember this only goes one way. So I always double check there, FR towards the radio. So here you go. So with the other shift boots, as far as the ones I have on the website, it's super easy to get this thing on because the material is a little bit thin, but it, it is durable. But the S13 black suede one, this material is super thick, so it doesn't really make it for an easy install. But doing it this way, you will mount this up every single time. So once you get it in place, ready to go, um, I suggest just holding it down and inserting the screw but what you want to do is you just want to insert it and do a couple turns but not fully and then you do that throughout all the screws so I like to go here and then I'll do a crisscross pattern almost dropped it All right, now once you have them all semi-secure, lock it in place in equal increments so that you don't put too much stress on the mounting tabs and then you could potentially break it and then pretty much that's not good. All right, so now once you have it pretty much snug, you're all good to go. So all you gotta do now is put it back in the car and um, reinstall your shift knob and enjoy your new shift boot. All right, so here we are now. We're gonna go ahead and install the, uh, the shift boot with the trim onto the center console. So now uh, it's gonna be obviously in reverse order. So you just wanna make sure that you're in the right area. Um, wanna make sure is to line up. If you can line up the top two clips then you're good to go. So once the top two are ready to go, you just press. Press there. Then you remember you got these two in the middle. Press there. And then you got the final one in the back end. Press them down. Right there. And then all you gotta do now, push down the shift boot around the shifter, install your shift knob, and you're good to go. There you have it. All black suede, available on the website as well as any other shift boot. Hope that helps. Um, if you have any other questions, you can contact me on the website through the email and uh, I'll be able to help you out through that and hopefully get any questions that need to be answered, answered. All right guys, so thank you for watching the video. Um, pretty much I hope it helps you guys out um, for the individuals who do order and get that all black suede shift boot. Again, it's easier on the other shift boots for some reason. It's just that the fabric on the all black one is a little bit uh, fidgety but thanks again for watching and as always uh, like comment and subscribe if you have any other questions you can always throw it down in the comments I, I do read them and also uh, you can contact me through the website at savageones.bigcartel.com again that's right here savageones.bigcartel.com again thank you for the orders it helps me out but more importantly it helps out the channel so I can come out with new content so you guys can watch and enjoy and also we already know what it is, and for all the people who've already been watching me, you already know what time it is. Hype is for the moment, and style is forever. Deuces.